My name is Paris Erickson. I did that Annapurna uh, trek in Nepal. Waking up really pretty early and having a very hearty breakfast, um, like omelets or dal, and then uh, trekking for a few hours. Um, we were in beautiful, gorgeous mountain mist areas, um, so it would be pretty up and down throughout the day. Uh, we'd always stop for lunch uh, and then continue trekking for another hour or two in the afternoon. Um, and then before reaching the tea house, we would spend the evening. Anybody with a willingness to train, no matter what age group they are, no matter what fitness background, can enjoy this. The more that you train for the Annapurna circuit, the more you can enjoy it. It definitely varied. I would say um, on the whole, it was achievable, um, but at certain points, you might have to take more rests or slow down a bit. It was mostly kind of gravelly paths. It has a lot of like bridges that run over water. You've got stone steps that kind of go up into the mountains. There was definitely some steepness. Snow-covered mountains, uh, which as you can expect in the Himalayas. Some people did feel some effects of altitude, um, which may have been loss of appetite, you know, a bit of trouble sleeping. Um, but on the whole, um, everyone, as long as they made sure to drink enough water or kind of keep electrolytes and that they did eat, um, made sure they had a full meal, um, everyone was fine. In terms of training, Going for walks, um, cardio runs, or other like cycling, anything that's cardiovascular fitness, or um, and then walking or trekking with the gear that you'll be taking with you is going to be really essential. Definitely um, something for sun protection, so a hat that or a baseball hat that you can fold up and put in your day pack. Depends on what you're most comfortable walking with. Some people bring trekking poles for balance. I always recommend trekking poles, having a really good day pack, something that it's easy to get in and out of, that will be sturdy, that will be able to carry you know, your water, your sunscreen, your camera. Um, camera for taking photos, good water bottles, and any snacks that you feel, you're gonna get hungry along the way. So anything that's gonna boost you, give, that, give you that energy, and that you're gonna enjoy. Uh, the highlight of the trip was definitely the first morning we were, um, it was after our first day of trekking, the next morning when we woke up, um, seeing the mountains, it was really clear and that was our first glimpse of um, the mountains up close. So to see the snow covered mountains, really it felt like you could reach out and touch them. Um, that made most of us tear up and really get excited for the next few days ahead. In terms of cultural experiences, there's a, like in, we have a Kathmandu City tour, which is the first day that I climatized for a lot of people to the new culture. Uh, we went around to different sacred sites around the city um, and sort of like cultural and historical sites. Probably my favorite cultural experience was um, going with just having fun with our head guides and um, our Sherpas. So we had dance parties most nights and they would sing vocal songs and we would all dance together. Um, so that was really fun. I learned a lot about what it means to grow with a group of people to a, a brand new country, to a brand new culture, and what it means to travel together, what it means to be physically challenged together, what it means to be, to experience emotions, the things that come up, um, and the effect of walking. Definitely one of the things I learned is that um, in a big group there can be different dynamics, but certainly a way to that even if you have differences, you are all connected by this one cause that you're fundraising for, um, and that at the end of the day, that's what's most important. This trip is for anyone who wants to really see insights into local Nepalese life. Um, definitely by going to Kathmandu, you had some beautiful cultural experiences, um, and then getting to meet uh, more local villagers in the mountainous areas.